So for our last segment today, we're going to take a look at the defense for the Oilers. There's a few options they have. I've done a profile look at Justin Braun with the Philadelphia Flyers. Right shot D, $1.8 million. We know the Oilers have been heavily scouting the Philadelphia Flyers. I think he's a good option for them. Seattle Kraken, Carson Soucy. I believe he plays the left side, but I think he can play the left and the right. He's around $2.75 million, I believe, is his contract. He's on a couple-year contract. I think he'd be a good option for the Oilers to look at. Who's some targets you want to look at, Mike? Well, it, this one's a tough one, right? We we all pretty much know that, uh, again, the outlier on defense that I think is is Tyson Berry. I think, like you said, he's looked great under uh, uh, Woodcroft, or looked better under Woodcroft. Yeah, better under that, one, upgrade. That, better, that he's, yeah. uh, um, you know, been playing his game. He's uh, been helping the power play, yet still not shooting. Uh, which is driving me insane. Who could you get? You know, Justin Braun. I, I like that that you did that on uh, that piece on him because he's a big body. I like what he would bring. But like Susie out of Seattle. See, I like Alexiak as well. You mm-hmm. know, regardless of what side they play on. Like I just think you need to show up your defense. Like you were saying. You know, what does our prospects look like moving forward here? Well, we got like Nimalainen, Broberg, Samarukov. These guys are all left shot D. I think right side D is where the Oilers should focus on. If you're bringing in somebody on an expiring contract at the deadline for the left side, sure. I mean, any help the Oilers can get, especially in the top four, would be welcome help. But I think going forward, the right side is where the Oilers should focus on. I think they're weaker. They have Cody CC, Tyson Berry, and Evan Bouchard there. But Bouchard's been struggling. CeCe's been good all year. He's been pretty consistent. So, and Tyson Berry's been hit and miss. Right well, now. here's another name that we can throw out there. You know, uh, uh, break your break your knees, Giordano. Like, Giordano's sitting there uh, wasting away down in Seattle. Could he come in and, and be a person? I know there's a lot of teams that have had interest, even uh, well, he's James. Get moved. Yeah, he's going to get moved somewhere. Yeah, yeah. but he is going to get moved somewhere. What about Travis Monick? Like, I, I, again, he's not one of those guys that'll just like, you know, oh my God, it's Travis Amonic, but could he bring that consistency to the back end? He was a player that the Vancouver Canucks were hoping was going to play in their top four this year. He hasn't played much of anything because he's had the family and health issues. So I don't know how much help he would be this year. He's consistently been a good defenseman in the past, but I'm not so, sure how he'd look this so, year. Though. So moving forward, as far as defense goes, I still think, like, I, I really like the guy out of Philly. And like you said, it looks like that may be where the trend is going since of all the, the scouts and stuff that have been at the games, the Philly games. Defense is, 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 is where I think it gets a little bit more uh, interesting come trade deadline because that's the chess pieces that everybody's looking for because the officiating is so shitty in the, in the playoffs. And... You just you need guys that can play defense. That's what I'm saying is that we got beat last year by the third and fourth lines of Winnipeg and an absolute stud of a goaltender that stood on his head. Whereas we got mediocre goaltending. We could score some goals, but we couldn't defend in our own zone to save our lives. Our five on five play in the playoffs last year was absolutely non existent. So, you know, I'm hoping that we can take these next whatever it is, 20-some-odd games here, and really keep hitting the ground running and get healthy. See what this team can look like healthy. If we had to go into this uh, into the playoffs with our defense, it wouldn't be the most ideal. But, you know, I wouldn't hate it either. You also have a guy down, you know, in the ranks in Nemo Linen that could come up and uh, play some 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 good minutes and well and i think he'll, he'll be back up after he has his baby with his yeah wife. absolutely yeah. Well, well he's a dad now and so oh, they have the baby? oh yeah okay. they, had, okay. they had the baby and everything that's why i'm thinking is that you know all of a sudden if you can throw nima linen into the mix here moving into tuesday or thursday's game man i think i, I think that just makes us tougher to play against i think with uh, uh, the tenaciousness that he brings, and I think he had an assist already, you know, which is better than you know some of the other guys on our defensive squad. Anything that can ease the mind of Evan Bouchard, who seems to really have been struggling as of late, um, better now in the last couple games here. 
uh, he seems to have found his legs. I don't know if that, uh, uh, it really seems that uh, when he had the stomach flu, that it really, <laughs> it really kicked him in the ass. So uh, mm-hmm. I hope this is the true to form and he's starting to come back and make some better decisions. Well, especially after him, probably getting a little bit of a uh, what have you in the dressing room after that horrible, lazy end of the first period last night. But, you know, he did come back and he played a, a decent game in the second and the third. He wasn't a liability. The fact that they were able to hold off and, and, and play through that five on three. It, defense is a tough one. Just like goaltending, right? Defense is a tough one. It's kind of hard when your coach that you wish that you had uh, all year is the coach that you've had now the last 15 games. And to see how the team is actually playing like a team now, it makes it really hard to say, okay, well, who is it that you want to bring in? Like I said, I totally agree with you. I think that, uh, you know, the likes of the Klingbergs and all these guys that aren't on the table anymore, you know, unless you're going to be able to, you know, miraculously do some kind of like a blockbuster deal, I think Giordano is going to go out east, uh, to be honest, because, uh, I, I, again, Colorado can't get everyone.